Hello friends, I am Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. Do you remember what Jesus said to Peter when Jesus asked Peter to follow him? He said, follow me and I will make you a fisher of men. In today's passage involving Jesus' arrest and trials, we see that Peter's style of following was not exactly what Jesus had in mind. After his arrest in the Garden of Gethsemane, Mark writes in Mark 14, verses 53 and 54, that they took Jesus to the high priest's home where the leading priests, the elders, and the teachers of religious law had gathered. Meanwhile, Peter followed him at a distance and went right to the high priest's courtyard. There he sat with the guards, warming himself by the fire. Peter followed Jesus, but he followed Jesus at a distance. Peter was chosen by Jesus to follow him. Jesus had taught Peter to deny himself, to take up his cross and follow Jesus every single day. And I'm sure that some part of Peter felt good about his style of following. He was there, he was following, he had infiltrated the group of guards. He was sitting by the fire. Here's a thought for us today. Peter followed Jesus at a distance. And I think sometimes I'm guilty of doing the same thing. Instead of following Jesus closely through Bible reading and prayer and making godly decisions, sometimes I follow Jesus from a distance. I don't really have a, a warm, growing relationship with him sometimes. I'm not praying like I ought to sometimes. I'm not reading the Bible like I should. And sometimes, even though I feel like I'm going through the motions, I still follow Jesus at a distance. Can you relate to that? If so, let me remind you that God created you to follow Jesus closely. Just as Jesus called out to Peter and said, follow me and I will make you a fisher of men. Jesus is right there with you right now. He loves you and he wants you to have that growing intimate relationship with him as well. He wants to have that relationship with you as well. So don't settle for following at a distance when you are able to walk hand in hand with the creator God. Don't settle for following at a distance when you are able to crawl up into his lap and pour your heart out to him. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, leave a comment. God bless.